Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Now this, this time I'm actually going to do gone, what everything what that he says. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Where missed a memo. Do that? No. When Stanley came to a set of two well, open do doors, this. he had this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I know I'm gonna change. Well. I know what I'm gonna change. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Not following it. What I'm gonna do? Stanley was so bad at following directions, this it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Shut up. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on now. the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize now. that investing your trust <coughs> in someone else can be difficult, that but the platform. fact is that the story has been about there. nothing but you all this so time. Just There's someone you've been enjoy neglecting, this brief montage. Someone you've forgotten about. No, there's no montage. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is her. it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who's her? She's been waiting. That's that her, my... Stanley. Do I have a wife? You need to be... Do I have a wife? I can't move. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh. Right. I'm at my oh, house. There we go. All right, now. It's my I apartment. want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. I don't have a wife. Did you actually think you had a loving Okay, oh, that's just bull crap. You you're their life you're to you. so I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Right I'm trying that to get you to see something. That was just the thing. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One Wait, might what? even feel sorry for him. Oh, look, except it's that he's like my desk at the work. Nine. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. What happened to From behind her? his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that Can't none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one well. day while at work, he it's said it's going to watch TV. I'm not watching TV. All his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Must the him thought missing something. excited him terribly. I think I can't see something on this. I feel like I'm not noticing something. There's something I'm not noticing. Press B to... Time so with he went far. I don't see no he boys. imagined that he came to two open <clears throat> doors and that he could go through either at last choice it barely even mattered what lay behind each door the mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold as he wandered through this fantasy world he began to fill it Not with possible dinner? paths and destinations Where the Cabinets come from. Wasn't there a kitchen room here? Room with monitors and mind Wasn't there a kitchen here? And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. A yellow and line. Down another was a game with a baby, and he called it the Stanley Parable. I don't trust you. I don't trust. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you one bit. 
I don't trust you. Fine! It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might Why always feel here? this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. Wait. How could there possibly be? What? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the but same why? things he always has. No! Nothing's changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I still understand what's going on. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this Come world, on, he can never be anything but an observer. Four, two, seven. That as long as he remains here, Sharing he's slowly pencils. killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Don't, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can work at my house. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same place. Fine. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please and die? Pushed a button. Is that what I'm saying? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr didn't. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! You started over. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, this time Stanley I'm decided to, to go to the meeting says. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ooh, my boss's Coming to a staircase, office. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Was it the 1930s? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk what? guarded the terrible truth oh. that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random Oops, buttons on the keypad, oh. Stanley happened to input the correct oh. code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I have no choice. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. 
Where am I? Mommy. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What uh, horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh. Cameras. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature two, two, revealed. Four, seven. Each bore four, two, the number seven. Four, two, of an seven. employee oh, in the building. Can't find it. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals oh. reduced to images That's on cool. the screen. That's really cool. And Stanley, Black one of them, water. eternally monitored in this place Black where freedom water. meant nothing. Black This mind Black control water. facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated oh. to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. No, his I can't own accept life it. in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So in the last episode, we had some Minecraft and Portal. I'm just going back to that. So, uh, on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yeah, After a little they bit, kept sorry. you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is yes. that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this oh. machine is activated without proper DNA identification, what? nuclear detonators are said to explode, what? eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? What? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Hold but on, what is that precious a code? moments each one of them is. There? is. More is time to talk Zero. about you, about me, Five, where we're two, going. One? What all this means? I barely know where to start. <gasps> What's that? You'd like to know where your yes. co-workers are? No. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. You can't do anything! All right, Two. I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, Two. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take uh, back the control is. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. 43 seconds go. but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even 36 better. seconds what? My goodness, only 34 seconds left no! I'm enjoying this so much 
You know That's, not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. some extra time on the clock. This Why is... not? Oh, thank These you. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you did just, just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on screaming. every little thing in this room. <laughs> buttons, no <laughs> buttons, or maybe this big <laughs> red button. Or this <laughs> door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? Uh, that this door? video game can be beaten? One soul? Oh, wait, you can see a door. Do you have you any door? idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> wait, no, that was Stanley. one minute. So You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. No! It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Wait. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. Charge at the charge in the next 34 I'm seconds? Destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, employee. Take a look at the clock. Goodbye, screen. employee. That's 30 Fourth seconds you have no. to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another what? choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's Not all so the same disabled. to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I, think I, I will be laughing right. at every second I think of I did something right. Come life, on. from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Did I just die? Did what? That is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. What the heck just happened?